Since you're watching this video, I bet you already get tripped up when having to decipher between which atoms or molecules get oxidized and reduced, and then mix that up with oxidizing and reducing agents. So here's a quick and easy trick for best oxidizing agent and best reducing agent questions. You know the ones I'm talking about, the questions that give a table of reduction half cells with their E values. Let's start with best oxidizing agent questions. You've surely come across questions like this one, asking for the best oxidizing agent, with the table of E values for half cells in reduction form. And note that reduction half cells with the electrons on the left side of the arrows are generally what you would be given on MCAT, not oxidation half cells. For best oxidizing agent questions, first eliminate any answers that have midline E values, because best would mean either highest or lowest number. So eliminate A because its E value is neither highest nor lowest. Now, the tip that makes the hard part of this question type a no-brainer, for best oxidizing agent, always go to the most positive E value cell and choose the most positive ion. That's it. You don't even have to think about whether it's the ion on the left or right of the half cell reaction or flip anything. Just choose the answer with the most positive ion in the most positive E value cell. Here's the same question. To make it even easier and quicker for best oxidizing agent, don't think too much and immediately go to the most positive E value cell and choose the most positive ion. You might have seen questions worded something like this one. Well, best suited to oxidize simply means best oxidizing agent. So just like before, go to the most positive E value cell and choose the most positive ion without having to think about what it's oxidizing, like the mercury mentioned in the question, even if the question stem shows the oxidation reaction of the other atom or molecule. Simply choose the most positive ion in the most positive E value cell. This works every time because oxidizing agents oxidize other atoms or molecules. This means they take electrons away from other atoms or molecules, making those atoms or molecules positive or more positive meaning oxidizing them. And in effect, oxidizing agents gain electrons, becoming less positive or even negative, meaning they get reduced. Don't think too much about it. Just know the more positive a half cell or ion is, the more vacancies in orbitals it has to take on electrons, making it a great oxidizing agent that can accept electrons from other atoms or molecules, oxidizing those atoms or molecules, and get reduced itself. So for best oxidizing agent questions, simply choose the most positive ion in the most positive E value cell. You might have already gathered that for best reducing agent questions, it would be the exact opposite of what we saw for best oxidizing agent questions, because oxidation and reduction are opposite reactions. But let's look at an example anyway. This time, the question is asking for best reducing agent. Same as before, eliminate any midline E value answers, and again, because it's asking for best, narrow down to answer choices associated with highest or lowest E values. But this time, go for the most negative or least positive E value cell, and choose the most negative or least positive ion or atom for best reducing agent. And again, you don't even have to think about whether it's the ion or atom on the left or right of the half cell reaction, or flip anything. Just choose the answer with the most negative or least positive ion or atom in the most negative or least positive E value cell. And again, even easier and quicker, for best reducing agent, don't think too much and immediately go to the most negative or least positive E value cell and choose the most negative or least positive ion or atom. And even if questions are worded something like this one, well, best suited to reduce simply means best reducing agent. So just like before, go to the most negative or least positive E value cell and choose the most negative or least positive ion or atom without having to think about what it's reducing, like the mercury ion in the question, even if the question stem shows the reduction reaction of the other atom or molecule. Simply choose the most negative or least positive ion or atom in the most negative or least positive E value cell. This works every time because reducing agents reduce other atoms or molecules. 
This means they give electrons to other atoms or molecules, making those atoms or molecules negative or less positive, meaning they become reduced. And in effect, the reducing agent loses electrons, becoming positive or more positive, meaning it gets oxidized. Don't think too much about this either. Just know the more negative or less positive a half cell or ion is, the more electrons it has to donate to other atoms or molecules, making it a great reducing agent that can donate electrons to other atoms or molecules, reducing those atoms or molecules, and get oxidized itself. So, for best reducing agent questions, choose the most negative or least positive ion or atom in the most negative or least positive E-value cell. And yes, for best oxidizing agent questions when given reduction half cells, it does more simply come down to choosing the left side ion or atom in the most positive E-value cell. And for best reducing agent questions, when given reduction half cells, it more simply comes down to choosing the right side ion or atom in the most negative or least positive E-value cell. Simple as that. Before you go, we have more MCAT tips and tricks for high yield, high trouble questions as seen on practice tests. Tips and tricks that will help you effortlessly get more correct on your tests. So subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can catch our don't think too much tips and tricks as we post them. Thank you for watching.